Next we are going to see about torque speed characteristics curve of single phase induction motor. Here this, uh, curve, this graph shows the torque speed characteristics curve. The two opposite direction torque and the resultant torque can be shown effectively with help of torque speed characteristics curve. Here at starting n equal to 0 at the point resultant the torque is zero, so single phase motor is not self-starting one. However, the rotor is given initially rotation in any direction. The resultant, the average torque is increased in the direction in which the rotor is initially rotated. And the motor starts rotating in the direction, but in the practice it is not possible to give initial torque. Torque to rotor is simply hence some modifications done in the construction of single phase induction motor themselves. Cross field theory. A single phase induction motor with standstill rotor in the figure. The stator that is excited by single phase AC supply. This supply produces an alternating flux file which acts along the axis of stator winding. Due to this flux, the EMF is induced in the rotor conductor due to the transformer action. As the rotor is closed on, this EMF circulate current through the rotor conductors. The direction of rotor current, rotor current is opposite causes produced with stator flux file. From Plumbing left hand rule can be used to find the direction of force experienced by the rotor conductor. It can be seen that when the phi s acts in the upward direction and increasing positively, the conductor's left experience of force from the left to right, while the right experience of force from right to left. The overall force experienced by rotor is zero. Hence, the no torque is assist on the rotor and rotor cannot start to rotate. So, the initial push, so due to the rotation, the rotor physically cuts by the stator flux and dynamically EMF gets induced in the rotor. This is called speed EMF or rotational EMF. The direction of such EMF can be obtained by plumbing left hand rule. This EMF is in phase with stator flux phi s. That the EMF is denoted by E21. This EMF circulates the current through the rotor, which is I2N. This current produces the own flux is called rotor flux phi r. The axis of phi r is 90 degree to the axis of stator flux, hence the rotor flux is called cross field theory. Due to the very high rotor reactance, the rotor current I2N, I2S lacks the rotational EMF by almost 90 degree. The direction of rotating magnetic field will be same as the direction of the initial. So, thus the rotor experience a torque in the same direction rotating magnetic field. So, the direction of initial boost. So, the rotor acceleration in the anti-clockwise direction under the case condition and attain subsynchronous speed in steady state. Thank you.